But I, you know, I think my my interest in cars came when I was probably about 15 and got my driver's permit. I mean, then then that started. Then then I could drive, you know. And uh, my first car was a 1948 Dodge convertible. Beauty, golly, it was beauty. And I tooled around that little town in Indiana, 7,000 population, I had a convertible. Get out of here. My dad never had a convertible. Um, I guess my interest in old cars, when did that come? Oh, well, I think the first, well, I'll tell you how the, I'll tell you how I got my first Packard. I had a Chevy and I had, I was on the Major Deacon Highway, Expressway in New York City. I was traveling north and I had my three children in the back seat and uh, there was a, there was a congested area and I put the brakes on and I looked at my rear view mirror and everything was fine. And then I looked at my rear view again and I see this lumber truck coming at me and it, it rear ended me and it threw my three children into the front seat. And that was the end of the car. And I said, I'm not having this car anymore. I'm not having a modern car anymore. I don't want a modern car anymore. I'll have a Packard because I grew up in Packards. So I set out to look for Packards. This is a 41 Packard brochure. And there is a 110 convertible, six cylinder. And this is mine. And this is a Woody Wagon. I have a, I had a beautiful one of these, probably the best one on the road. This is the standard interior. It was all wood grained. And uh, this, uh, these are actually the colors that are gonna be in my car. I have been restoring cars for, for quite a while. And I think that's, and that came about because when it came to the expertise, the, the quality of the car that I wanted, I didn't have the expertise to do it. I couldn't paint, I couldn't do the motors like I wanted them done and so on and so on. So I had, I had to hire, hire people to do that. You hear all the old timers say this. When I was growing up, we couldn't wait for the new cars to come out each year because they all had their own individual identifying marks. The grills, there was a continuity in the design of the grill. It might change a little bit, but every time you saw a Packard grill, you knew it was a Packard. That, that holds today. Same thing with Lincoln, Chevy, DeSoto, Mercury, cars that we don't even have anymore. And that used to be a real kick when you'd see the new cars. Today, there is such a commonality about design that you don't know if it's a Toyota or a Benz. It's true, right? It's true. All right, now, you got to come with me because I want to show you my next... Uh, my next Packard. Okie doke, this is it. You see, this is my project. All it needs is paint, right? No, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you about this car. It's a six cylinder 110 Packard. 110 denotes uh, six cylinder. And as it turns out, it was the second cheapest Packard that was made in 1941. It's really a rare car and believe it or not, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I mean, it will, it'll be a pretty car. It'll really be a pretty car. This is it. Just a flathead six is not terribly complicated motor. This is what it looks like, what it will look like. And it's just a big chunk of metal with six holes in it, and pistons. But boy, it's a smooth riding car. Oh, it's just, just so smooth you can't believe it. You can't hear it run. Won't, cannot hear this thing run. Now, when you come back and see my car out there, this is what the front end's going to look like from the, from the windshield all the way forward. It doesn't have the side mounts, uh, you know, the spare tires and the fenders, but this whole thing. And I'll probably put fog lights on it too. If I can afford to do that, I'll put fog lights on that. But now let me point out one interesting thing. You see this shape here, this design? This is a continuity about the Packards, and it doesn't make any difference whether it's the early, early Packards or the later Packards. This line, oh, you know, I mentioned President, the Studebaker out there. I'll, I'll take you over in short. I want to tell you something real quick, though. You know, uh, Packard merged with uh, Studebaker the very last years that it was in existence. But now, come look at this uh, Studebaker President. How do you like the color? <laughs> These were 50s colors. These are original colors. That was just what happened in the 50s. And this was, was designed by Raymond Lowy, who also designed the Coke bottle. And, you know, just a, a really warner. 
I hope you Brits have enjoyed this. And I hope you've learned something, had some fun seeing these American cars. It's kind of a cliche line, but uh, they just don't make them like this anymore.